So for every 100 South African students, um, 51 make it to their senior year, 40 graduate from high school, 16 qualify for college, and only two, so that's 2%, will will graduate college. So the tragedy of this, what the government has done, is that they've made 30% a pass rate. So you can pass from grade to grade knowing only 30% of the work. Oh, wow. So yeah. by the time you get to grade 10, you don't even know grade 4 academics. Right. So by the time you finish, if you pass grade 12 with 30%, you're not going to college or university. No, and if you do get in... And there is a over 50% unemployment rate there. Wow. So, it, it, as we kind of go, th just just speak to that, and then now that you're in the U.S., I mean, how does how does that correlate? Because I don't think we can truly appreciate no. exactly what you just said. No. I don't think Americans realize how blessed they are that they are born in this country and hold an American passport. Yeah. That you can go anywhere in the world and literally do anything you want. If you've got a child in America who is really bright, living in a poverty-stricken area, they can get a scholarship to Harvard. Mm. In South Africa, I'll tell you a story which Please. is really beautiful and it will tell you what I'm trying to say in a better way. So there was this young, lovely guy called Poshi. Okay. He came from a very poor area of South Africa, and he got into medical school at Wits University, which is a top university mm -hmm. there. So because of his marks in grade 12, he did so exceptionally well, they would let him in. He got a scholarship for the first year of medicine. He sailed through it. At the end of first year, he would have to go back because he couldn't get anyone to help him. So he landed at our door, and I looked at him and I went, are you kidding me? I can't turn him around. Mm. We are going to have to find some sponsorship to support him. He was on the dean's list throughout medical school. Wow. He was head of everything. He is now a qualified doctor working in the hospitals. He would have been sitting under a tree, poverty stricken, if we hadn't helped him. That's amazing. And every one of our Tomorrow Trust kids have a story like that. Mm.